हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब इट येट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर एट व्हिच इज़ रिलेटेड टू फ्रिक्शन सो इट इज़ द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर एट द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द ट्रैक्टर एक्सर्ट्स अ टोइंग फोर्स टी इक्वल्स टू फोर पाउंड सो दिस टी फोर्स इज फोर हंड्रेड पाउंड लेट मी राइट दैट दिस टी इज इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड पाउंडस एंड इट इज सेट दैट डिटरमाइन द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन एट ईच ऑफ द टू फ्रंट एंड टू रेयर टायर्स एंड दैक्टिव फ्रिक्शन फोर्स एफ ऑन ईच रेयर टायर नीडेड टू पुल द लोड फॉरवर्ड इट कॉन्स्टन विलासिटी वी सो वी नीड टू डिटरमाइन द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन फोर्स इज at the front wheels and at the rear wheels right and since we have two wheels so we will have this if this is and c beneath the one tire so we will have two and c and similarly we will have and b reaction here so this will be two and b and similarly we have that uh, attractive friction force so we are required to determine this f as well and this and c and this and b further it is said that the tractor has a weight of 7500 pounds so the weight of this tractor is acting at this point gt so it will be acting vertically downward like this this is uh, 7500 so i will write 7500 pounds and an additional weight of 600 pound is added to its front having a center of gravity at ga so 600 pound force is acting here as well so this is 6 Hundred pounds, and it is said that take the coefficient of static friction equals to point four between the between the surface and the wheels, right? And it is said that the front wheels are free to roll. Now, if I apply the summation of moment about point c equals to 0 if we apply if we consider that the whole system is in equilibrium and if we apply the summation of the moment about point c equals to 0 and if we assume that the counter clockwise moment is positive so as we can see that um, this t force is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point c somewhere here is that point c and this frictional force is acting here this acting here so this means that this friction force is also passing through that point c it is shown here beneath the surface but it is acting parallel to the surface so as we can see that this t force is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point c so i will write plus this is plus 400 and the moment arm of this t force from that point c is 2.5 feet so i will multiply it with 2.5 Similarly, this seventy-five hundred pound force is producing the clockwise moment about that point C. So I will write minus seventy-five hundred, and the moment arm of this weight from that point C is five feet. So I will multiply it with five. Similarly, this two and B is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about that point C. So I will write plus two and B. and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this 2 and b from that point c is 5 plus 4 so this is 9 feet so i will multiply it with 9 and similarly this 600 pound force is producing the clockwise moment about that point c so i will write minus 600 and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this 600 pound force from that point c is 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 3 so this is 12 so i will multiply it by 12 and this is equal to 0 so now i will add up all those terms which doesn't involve and b so we have 400 into 2.5 minus 7500 into 5 minus 600 into 12 so we get uh, minus 43 700 and this is 2 into 9 is 18 so we can write the 18 and b minus 43 700 43 and this is equal to 0 and if i bring this to the other side of equation so we will have 18 and b equals to this and if i divide this answer by 18 that is 43 700 divided by 18 
so this gives me 24 27.78 so nb equals to 24 27.78 pounds now if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so as we can see that this and c is going up so this is our upward direction is a positive direction so we can say that this is plus 2 and c minus this 7500 pounds plus this 2 and b so we can write that this is 2 n and b is now known which is 24 27.78 and this 600 pounds minus 600 so i will write minus 600 and this is equal to 0 so now we can find this and see if we bring these three terms to the other side of the equation so their signs will become opposite so this will become plus this will become minus and this will become plus so we can find and see now so and see is uh, 7500 minus 2 into 2427.78 plus 600 so this is equal to 2 and c and if i divide it by 2 so we will get that and c so divided by 2 so and c is 1622.22 so and c equals to 1622.22 pounds similarly if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and if this is my positive direction so as we can see that this t force is acting in the negative direction so we will write it as minus 400 this f is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus f or in the positive direction and there are no other force which is acting along the horizontal direction so this is equal to zero or we can say that that frictional tractive frictional force f is equal to 400 pounds now if i find the maximum friction that the surface can provide to the tires so it is it will be equal to mu s times n and we want to find the maximum tractive friction at that uh, point c that is for the rear wheel so we will we can say that this will be equal to mu s and c so we can find it mu s is 0 0.4 and and c is 1622.22 so 0.4 times answer if i multiply answer by 0.4 so this gives me 648.88 648.89 pounds so this is f max so now as we can see that this f max is greater than that f which we got from the equilibrium condition so this means that the the tractor can pull that force pull that that load which is attached to it and and it will take that load in the forward direction with constant velocity without slipping since the surface can provide the maximum tractive force of 648.89